Hi everyone, it's Alina from Exomate Mastery here. And today I want to discuss a topic that um, I've been actually receiving a lot of questions about recently. It is why is my report, whenever I print it into a PDF, why does it not have the totals and why is there a bunch of information missing? And this may sound like a basic topic, but I do want to cover it because even those of you that have been using Xactimate for a while, when Xactimate does an update, sometimes it'll reset your report type in your print window. So this is something that happens once or twice a year, it seems like they reset something in the system and it takes you back to the old report type. So let's go take a look at how we can fix that and some of the options that you have with your reports. Here's a report type that Xactware seems to reset you guys back to. It's called the abbreviated report. So you'll see on my screen here, you've got your measurements, you've got your line items, they've got quantity and unit price, but they're missing your RCV, your ACV, your O&P isn't listed at the line item level. Also, you'll notice there's no totals per area. So right here in living room, I should have a living room total. And then where it says dressing room, I should have a dressing room total. Here's the report that we're used to looking at. So you've got your measurements, but you also have these small sketch previews here that are available on this type of report. Notice on the abbreviated, all we had were the measurements. Maybe you like that. Maybe you want to use the abbreviated. That's fine too. But let's just go over the differences here. So in the final draft type of report, We've got the breakdown of all the sketches that were sketched for this estimate. And then we've got our breakdown of line items. So you can see here you've got tax, O&P, RCV, depreciation, and ACV. Those are new columns that were not available on that other report, the abbreviated type. You can see here the column headers, there's quite a few missing. Also, you'll see that I have a total, total for living room. Here we go. Total for dressing room, there we are. So those totals are pretty important to a lot of people, especially if you're recreating adjuster's estimates or if you're trying to supplement out in the field. The totals are nice to go off of so you can see where you are apples for apples is what the adjuster's paying. So what do we do if we have an abbreviated type of report and we'd like to change it to the final draft? That has been the question of the week this week. So I'm in an estimate here, and up in the top right corner, you'll see print. And in the print window, you'll see the report type drop down. So there's an area here in your print window where you can drop down the list and choose whichever report type you would like. So abbreviated is what it defaults back to. This is triggered by an update that Xactor does or some other reset of the system in some manner that takes your normal report and puts it back to this report type abbreviated. So let's go ahead and drop down that list and the most common types of that we see out in the field, most adjusters run the final draft with or without removal depreciation. That is the most commonly used report type in the field. Most contractors should be using that as well. So you have an apples for apples for what the adjuster is looking at compared to your estimate. It's going to be very similar. USAA, however, likes to use the rough draft style report. So take a look at that one as well. It'll give you your category, your selector codes, and your activity codes on each line item. So you can really drill down and see what line items that, uh, that you're using. And it's a pretty cool report. So both of those, the final draft with or without, and then the rough draft are the two reports that you probably want to use when you're dealing with adjusters out in the field. Now, a side note here, do remember that the reports available for you to see is dependent upon what profile you're in. So at the bottom of my screen here, you can see profile carrier. If that was profile contractor, I'd have different report types available to me. However, those two main ones, the final draft with or without, and then the rough draft, those will still be available no matter which profile you're in. But if you're ever working in an estimate and you're looking for a report that you commonly use, check the profile and make sure that you're in the correct profile because that profile type will determine which types of reports you can see or can't see. So take a look at that, play around with those two types of estimates, see which one works best for you, but that is how you change your report type and get back from the default abbreviated to our, what we're used to seeing, which is probably your final draft. 
If you like this video, please be sure to press the like button below. Also, subscribe to this channel. We do updates every Tuesday, and that way you can keep updated with us. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. For more information on Xmate Mastery and what we do, go to www.xmatemastery.com, and I hope you have a great week in your business, and we'll see you next week.